The taskbar running across the bottom of the desktop is a key way of navigating Windows 10 for most people. The cool thing is that many people don't know is that you can seriously customize it using a tool called Taskbar X. Here we're going to show you how to install and use this tool to refine your experience. The Windows 10 taskbar is where your app shortcuts, opened apps and open files live. But you can't really do much else with it. You can't change where the icons go. It's always beside the start menu. While that's okay, you may prefer something a little different. That's where the Taskbar X program can help. What is Taskbar X? Taskbar X is a free tool for customizing your Windows 10 taskbar. It's only designed for Windows 10, but versions 1709 and lower may not work with all features. However, the developer states that it may work with Windows 8, but hasn't been tested. It will not work with Windows 7. It's a portable app, which means it won't change any registry settings. So when you're done with it, simply close it and you're done. It's also open source, so if you'd like to tinker with the code yourself, you can. The tool's made to send to your taskbar icons. You can also customize the color, positioning of icons and animations. It's important to note that this is just for customizing the taskbar and isn't a fully fledged app doc. Installation and setup. Start by downloading the latest portable version. Click on the latest version, followed by the zip file link. If you prefer the Microsoft Store version, it'll cost you $1.09. Why the nine cents? I'm not quite sure. Once downloaded, if you use the free version, right click the file and choose Extract All. If you're using the Microsoft Store version, it'll install it automatically. The extracted file should open automatically. If not, open the extracted folder, open the Taskbar X application file, and you're all set. As soon as you open the application, you'll see your taskbar icons move to the center. You can adjust exactly how the icons are positioned later. This is just the default placement. The free portable version doesn't run at startup automatically, so the first thing to do is change this. Taskbar X comes with another tool, Taskbar X Configurator. As the name implies, this tool helps you to configure the taskbar settings. Open the extracted folder again and open Taskbar X Configurator. This tool has a variety of settings, but the most important one to start with is Task Schedule. This allows you to create a schedule for Taskbar X to start up with Windows 10. Open Task Schedule on the left pane and then enter your desired time delay. The default is 6 seconds, which is fine for most users. Press Create to create the schedule and then press Apply to set the schedule. Accessing your settings. Open Taskbar X Configurator at any time to access your settings. To keep your desktop tidy, you may want to store the Taskbar X folder somewhere else, such as Documents. You can add shortcuts to the configurator and main app on your start menu for easy access. This is just one way to help customize your start menu. To add the shortcuts, first move your Taskbar X folder where you want, then right click on the Taskbar X application and choose Pin to Start. Repeat for the configurator tool. Configure additional settings. Now that you've set a schedule, it's time to start customizing the additional features. You can use the taskbar manager as is at this point, or change things up a little. There are five different settings to choose from. First is style. Choose the type of style you want, along with the color. To see how it'll look, press apply. You can undo your changes by pressing the reset button at the bottom far left corner of the window. Next is animation. This applies to how your taskbar moves into place, along with how new icons appear. It's not mind-blowing, but it's still quite fun to play around with. Outside of style, position is likely to be the setting you'll want to customize the most. Use the options to position the taskbar exactly where you want it. You can even remove centering. This allows you to still take advantage of the style settings without your icons being centered between the start menu and the system tray. Task schedule is the fourth option, but you've already used it. Let's move on to the fifth one, extra. This group of settings allows you to configure how your start menu icon and system tray appear. You can also set your refresh rate along with changing a few other options. Whenever you want to restart or stop Taskbar X, open any of the settings and click the appropriate button at the bottom of the right pane. You can also uninstall the app. This is useful in the Microsoft Store version since it's installed traditionally versus being a portable app. If you're having trouble with the Windows 10 Taskbar, why not learn some fixes for the most common issues? I'll put some links for that in the description. Okay, as always, Thanks very much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.